Hello database programmers. This is a quick access database tutorial for you to show you how to connect multiple tables together in order to make a query that you can run in your ASP pages or MySQL pages. I'm sorry, ASP pages or PHP pages. So let's go ahead and get started. This right here is a database from a person off from a website that I assisted earlier. And what we're going to do is that we're going to connect multiple tables together. The first thing we're going to do here is we're going to create our relationships. Now this is using Access 2010 and uh, you can do this in uh, Access 2000, 2003, and 2007. Only thing you got to do is go into the uh, relations part of it. Inside of Access 2000, and, uh, 2000 exactly, you right click in this area here and then you choose the relationship option. Inside of 2003, uh, you got to do something else. I'm not really quite sure. Let's do a search for it. 2007 should be the same as what we're looking here in 2010. So the first thing we want to do is click on create. I'm sorry, let's go to database tools. Now, click on relationships. And what we're going to do is we're going to add in, just to begin with, we're going to do uh, categories and, uh, so, yeah, categories and series. I think that's what we want for this particular tutorial here is categories and series. So we choose category and series, choose add. Now what we do here is that we want to uh, connect our category to our series. And our category, our key is category ID. Series has the category ID as well. So what we do is we link these two together and make sure the category ID is on both category and series and making sure the category is the first one in the list. Click on create, control S to save, and then close it. Now, click on create, query design, and then choose category and series, and then choose add. Now, as you can see, it's already got our relationship right here, so we do not have to mess with that. So what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna add in everything that we are gonna use for our query. So let's choose each one of these. We're going to skip over this one because we've already got it chosen. And then there. Okay, now the um, query that we're going to run is going to be run against our series. So what we're going to do here is that our criteria under our series ID, we're going to put 1. And then we're going to go up here and click on run. And as you can see, there's nothing there. So, which that means that there's no record for the one. So we go back over here and then we choose, now let's choose 17. And then we choose run. And as you can tell, tail, it is our category name of shower unit. <coughs> so we do have a item for this one. And as you can see, it's picking up all of the data for the series ID of 17. And now, in order to use this code inside of your query within your ASP Classic page, in our case, we right click and choose SQL View, and this is our SQL code. So we just right click and copy it, and then we go over here, and then as you can see, it's already inside of here. So what we do, just to show you a quick one right here, we just paste it in, and we get rid of that, and add in a question mark bring that back and then there and there now whenever this is run we get in a page that looks something like this so with this page run it's going to show us that there is some records available but in this case uh, the user has to add in some more information because it's not getting nothing but if nothing exists I've designed this to say, sorry, there's no product for that number. And so, but anyway, that is our quick access database tutorial. Jump back over here. And uh, I hope that this helped you out. Uh, once again, this is Wayne Barron for Dark Effects TV. Hope that y'all have a rocking new week. Thank you.